Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you want to know my step-by-step -step plan of how I will learn Dutch, keep watching. Los geht's! My name is Dustin and I'm an IT project manager from Germany. On this channel we create content that helps us to be more productive, to learn new things, especially languages and to live a happier and more fulfilling life. Learning a new language is a great opportunity to take you with me on that journey and to show you in detail what I do. So we will start from scratch and then work our way towards fluency. Let's enjoy the ride together. First of all, a small disclaimer, how I learn languages varies. So each day I learn something new. And this way also the methods and how I tackle language learning changes constantly. So we will have a look at the plan based on what I already know. And we will also do some experiments. Normally I would start with the accent IPA because I think it's really important to be understood right from the beginning. I would analyze the language and have a look at the IPA to see if there are sounds that are new to me that I should learn beforehand, that I need to learn mechanically. I already did a video about that, I will link it also here. With Dutch, I already know that all the sounds are within the range of pronunciation that I can do. So I will skip this step. This step can of course be perfectly combined with an exercise like Asimil and shadowing all the stuff like Alexander Arguelles proposes on his channel. This will be probably a part of another language learning project. And then I would review if there's a different script I need to learn. This I would do in advance to give me lots of time to digest it, to let it really sink into my brain. I would use for example an app like Scripts to really hammer it into and to repeat it over and over again over a longer period of time for a short amount of time each day. Dutch has not a different alphabet nor any signs so I can skip this one as well. Step 3 would be to get an overview over the language and to see what things are important to know before starting to learn it. Since I've had Dutch already for two years at school, I can also keep this step really short. Probably I will use later an app like Pusu or Bubble to get deeper into noticing stuff, so following the noticing hypotheses. But for the beginning, I will just use the phrasebook from Lonely Planet to get a quick overview of the language again and to refresh my mind. It just takes about one or two hours and yeah, will really help me. Then I will also copy all the most important verbs, conjugations from that book into Notion. And now step four and probably one of the most important steps, comprehensible and compelling input to learn to understand the language. This one is crucial and will prepare us to speak the language at a later point in time. Consuming massive amounts of compelling and comprehensible input is something that will stay with us for months, maybe years. There will be along the way more and more new content, but especially at the beginning, we try to focus on repetition. So how are you gonna do that? First of all, we will use drops to build up a basic vocabulary while at the same time repeating the stuff over and over again. So we will repeat the words once we hear them. This way we will also work on our pronunciation. It's kind of like shadowing light. I've already made a video about drops and I will also link it here. Then get the basics right. I will use Link to learn all the starter material and especially the mini stories. I've already learned the mini stories for Italian and French so I know the content inside out and this will really help me to get into the language quickly. If it's about repetition I really need a goal that motivates me and keeps me going. So I'm aiming to have read all the mini stories and to have listened to them at least 10 times each. This should get us roughly to an A2 level of comprehension. Then from there on we will move on and consume all the easy Dutch material on YouTube. So we will use the link browser importer to get it into there and then we will read the subtitles and afterwards watch the YouTube videos. This shouldn't take me too long because the Easy Dutch YouTube channel is pretty new and they are only like, I don't know, 14 videos or something around by now. And then the next one, and I'm pretty excited about this one because it's new to me and I haven't done that before and I got it from Language Lords on YouTube. It's also about building up our comprehension and we will use five TED Talks for that. We will watch them with subtitles and we will try to understand everything. We will look up words and uh, yeah, we will review them on a daily basis. No flashcards are needed and context and pronunciation are key here. Step five, 
learn to speak the language alone. So we are talking here in the first step about basic fluency and later we will take it to the next level. This step is also a step that gets repeated over and over again and uh, the complexity of topics will also rise along the way. I will also make another video about learning how to speak alone with more details about the method. This one is also inspired by Language Lawrence and I really can't wait to test it. We will take notes from the TED Talks that we formerly mentioned and then we will use those notes to talk about what happened in the talk. I will talk for five minutes and I will record myself. Each word I don't know, I will say in a language that I know the word. And each sentence I don't know 100%, I will try to make it as best as I can. Then I will watch my video and correct everything with DeepL, which is a translator tool that I think is better than Google Translate, at least for the languages that are available. New vocab goes into Ankydex, so this is the flashcard app, and new phrases and sentences go into a Notion spreadsheet, where I will review them on a daily basis. And then rinse and repeat until we really know how to talk about the topics and until we get safe. Then we also use the shadowing technique on YouTube videos at that point in time, also on TED Talks, for example. We will play one sentence, repeat it afterwards, and we will do that over and over again, also for five minutes at a time. This way, and after we have done that for a certain amount of time, we should be able to really know the content by heart and have the pronunciation on point. Italki sessions for Dutch are more expensive than French or Italian ones. So we want to make sure that we get as good as we can get by speaking alone, by practicing alone. The next step is to build a conversation script to prepare us for our first conversation. I already did a video about that and I will link it also here. Yes, I think it's great to have real conversations and if you have the possibility, you can also start early, but I think it makes more sense to have the basic fluency even before starting to talk to people. You can reach basic fluency alone, but you really need to be disciplined. The problem is that it can be really hard to motivate yourself to sit down and to talk to yourself and to do all those exercises. And it can be easier then to just schedule an italki session and to, to talk to a real person because then you are forced because you, yeah, you have scheduled something and you need to attend and you need to be there. To make my progress and goals visible, I have prepared a Notion page like I do for all my projects. This ensures that I stay motivated and that I always know what to do next. Important also to mention is that we should finish before we start something new. So stop starting and start finishing. Otherwise you have 1000 things started, but you have no sense of accomplishment and you will lose focus. I also already made a video about making things visible and I will link it here. Now we know what we want to do and we get our goals. But even more important than that is to know when we are going to do it. So it needs to be habitualized in order to get in the repetitions. It has also to be robust to enable us to endure it also during the times that are more stressy. So I don't want to give up my French and Italian learning. So how can I make time to get everything done? About learning languages in parallel, I will make a dedicated video, but let me summarize here quickly. Currently I'm learning Italian in the morning and during my Pomodoro breaks and French then in the afternoon. Since I really reduced my French learning and it doesn't take too long anymore, I will move it to the evening. Italian, I will move to the noon slot. Dutch, I will then do in the morning during the time when I have the highest energy. This way I have also about a half hour while I drive to the gym and I drive back to listen to some audio content. And also I have all the Pomodoro breaks from work that I can use to improve my Dutch and to do drops on those kind of things. In total, this should get me at least one hour of Dutch learning each day. I can still build that up, of course, but we will start with that for now. I have also documented my new habits in my habits and routines database. And it's important, I think, to know what we are currently doing, because this way we can change stuff and we can shift things around. I will document everything I do and I will also make dedicated videos where I really show you how I do the stuff I mentioned earlier. Further, there will probably be more experiments to come and other methods I will use. We will see how the progress goes and then we will adapt along the way. I will start to learn Dutch after the day when this video airs, so at the 1st of August. Please let me know in the comments what you would like to see or about which specific points I should make additional videos if you are not learning Dutch, but probably French or German. I have made playlists for that where I show you great learning resources. Also, make sure to leave me a like and subscribe to the channel and to not miss anything going forward, click on the notification bell. Thank you very much for watching and see you the next time.